Hello friends, my name is Ariel Emil, and welcome back to some more Grand Turismo for you. Today we're we'll continuing on with Let's Play. This is episode 64, and in today's episode we are doing the final proper rally event. For that we need a proper rally car, and for that we got a proper rally car. We got the Evo 6 rally car. Let's go put a turbo on it, let's go do things, and let's win a race, yay. I swear the commentary will actually be good this time. No, it won't. You're right, it won't. Apparently we've had no stage 3 turbo kits for like the last three or four cars. For some reason, I have no idea. And that's why. depressing. It is suppressing. You're right. I said depressing. It sounded like you said suppressing. Great start. I mean, it, it's depressing to be suppressed. 464 horsepower. Two it's less horsepower just... than the Evo 7. Although I'm assuming it is lighter. Let's just all get together and get some off clean. Yes, Alpine Rally Race Reverse. That's not hard to say at all. Let's go. I'm all out of coke. I'm also gonna head is Pepsi okay? No, cocaine's better. Yeah, just, You're damn right it is. We uh, have a Mountain Dew. Cause that's the bottom see. line, cause Stone Cold said so. Oh hey, we're back to that again. <laughs> well, yeah, let's not. Hey, we've got a Salika to go against on this final rally event, apparently. So you're saying... So, Who died? So basically what you're saying, uh, Scotch said he was gonna go to bed. Oh, did he? And, okay. I was, and, and, and I was gonna say, so basically, since you're going against Corolla, that means you got a 141 2 third chance of winning. That's sacrifice. God damn it. What is sacrifice? <laughs> I'm sorry. That was the name of the pay per view that, were, that Steiner was talking about in that promo. Was this for like TNA or something? Yes, it yeah, was. Is, I think this was like 2008 or something. Total non stop why? Total non stop uh, math. GNM. No, sorry, I forgot. It's what is it now? GFW Impact. It's like Global Force is, Wrestling. Is it Impact. really called GFW Impact? Yep. Yeah. I thought it was just called Impact Wrestling. Nope. It was, and then it became GFW. But um. This is all Jared's plan all along. GFW Impact with your champion Alberto L. Oh wait. <laughs> Back from the dead again. Hi. Hi. You've missed hell. Scotian left. And you, you, you missed the things that happened. Episode 63 is hell. Never watch it when it goes up. <laughs> Which means you're gonna watch it when it goes up. Generic means. Thunder literally spent the last, like, I've been waiting to end it for two minutes and Thunder was just reading off some Scott Steiner ramblings. About something about 33.4% of a chance of winning at Sacrifice. It's a great promo. I'd recommend watching it on YouTube. I was gonna say, we should go into a watch together and watch that. Yes. <laughs> but bro, we need to finish the rally events. We'll do that later then. What, do this later or do that later? The watch together. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll probably watch that and then go to bed because it'll be like 3 a.m. by the time we finish these fucking things. But hey, at least we've only got this one and then the special stage Route 5 wet things. And then we're good. It's so moist. It'll be moist, baby. At sacrifice. I can't remember, does this game have wet tires, or of winning. do you just use slicks and it says whatever? If anyone knows... For what, the wet race? Yeah, for the wet race, can you just use slicks? I believe you can use slicks? Like, there's no wet... Which shouldn't make sense, oh. but it does? There's no wet tires or any of that bullshit. Yeah, that wasn't until GT5. No, I thought GT4 had wet tires, maybe. No, it didn't. Oh yeah, because they didn't have variable weather, did it? So there's like no point. But instead, we get comfort tires. Comfort soft, oh. comfort medium, comfort Wait, no, hard. wait, no, not comfort. Uh, it was like factory tires oh, there's, or something. Yeah, factory tires, simulation tires, and it's like, <laughs> your car has been replied with sports tires, and it's like, why would I ever want to use comfort tires? Uh, never mind. As we have our Evo 6 here. 
Are these the correct tail lights for an Evo 6, by the way? Yeah, it might be. Thunder. Hmm? Are these the correct tail lights for an Evo 6? Because I could have swore these were from an Evo 5. I think on the Evo 6 rally car, those are the correct uh, tail lights. <laughs> but I mean, for an Evo 6, they're not the correct tail lights. Uh, the like Tommy Mackin gun. edition does have those tail lights, if I remember correctly. But the standard Evo 6 doesn't. No. Why? To Google we go. But don't Evo 5s have these tail lights by default? Yes, they do. What? <laughs> I'm confused. Mitsubishi is a weird company. Hence why they make no money anymore. It was probably they're probably thinking yeah, with the Evo Six. Yeah, we should probably get rid of that extra bit, make it a little different. What what about the, the rally cars? And what if we make it? What if we go uh, forward with making that Tommy Mackin edition we were talking about? Nah, we're just gonna leave them there. I previewed the race. I really don't care. It's really strange. I like. I don't know what Mitsubishi was doing. And again, who, when does any when does when does anyone these days? Mitsubishi is just uh, rolling around in its own piss, going, "Look at us." <laughs> Pretty much. Look at us, mum. We're not electrocuting the cat. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, they're just electrocuting the dog instead. Exactly. What I never understood is that why was it back then when it went to like the UK rally, the car was something called the Mitsubishi Charisma. What? That's really a thing. For some reason, whenever they went, I think whenever they went to like the the rally, certain rallies, it was not the Lancer Evolution, it was the Charisma Evolution. Uh, I will tell you exactly why that is. Are they just afraid of the word Lancer? Nope. Look up Mitsubishi Charisma. It is basically a fat yeah, Lancer. It's a, it's a fat Lancer sedan. It's a fat Lancer sedan built in the Netherlands on the Volvo S40 platform. So basically, it's a Volvo. Yes. You know, I kind of want one now. It's basically a Volvo with Mitsubishi engines, as far as I remember. But oh, uh, seriously, I kind of want one now. Well, no, actually, I can't. That. It's either that or they were building it and then they stopped building it when Volvo came on and said, yeah, we're buying your plant and we want to build Volvos now. What the fuck? Apparently, the car is now called the Mitsubishi Grand Lancer. Uh. What? Apparently, in August 2017, Mitsubishi will be ending production of the Lancer, except for the Chinese and Taiwan, mainland China and Taiwanese markets, where it's going to be called the Grand Lancer. I mean, to be fair, the Lancer names. I didn't know they were still producing Lancers. Yeah. The Lancer name really hasn't meant anything, though, <laughs> since the Evo died, so. Well, I should say, the Lancer name hasn't meant anything since, like, 2011, when the Evo should have probably been made into. 11. Yeah, they should they they should have made an Evo 11 like two or three years into the production of. Well, I would okay, maybe not two. That's a bit short. Then again, Evo, <laughs> Evo five, five six. six it's yeah. Evo five and six came out one year within each other. I think Pretty sure they did the same thing with Evo one, far. two, and three. Yeah. I mean, hell, like the Impressors, even though they all look the same, they like if you actually go into GT2, you see like version one, version two, version three, version four, version five, version six. In fact, let's let's check this for sure. October 1992 to January 1994 for the Evo One. January 1994 to February 1995 for the Evo <laughs> Two. February 1995 to August 1996 for the Evo Three. August 1996 to January 1998 for the Evo Four. January 1998 to January 1999 for the Evo 5. <laughs> Literally uh... just one year. Just fucking wow. <laughs> I mean, the Evo 2 at least went 13 months, but only 12 for the no Evo 5. No one gives 5. a fuck about the Evo 5, that's why. The problem Poor is, Evo I give 5. a shit about it. I know you do, it's but my favorite... no one cares. It's my favorite it's Evo. It's didn't. Now, which Evo actually went the longest? 10. 10. By far. The, no, Evo 6 the worst was one. The Evo 6 was January 1999 to February 2001, so it lasted 25 months, which isn't too bad. Hmm. Seventh generation, March 2001 to January 2003. So, about 26 months. Hmm. No, not 26 months. I don't think the Evo 9 months. lasted long for a while. I was going to say, Thunder, is that some more Scott Steiner math? 
twenty six it was twenty six months though for the Evo eight, January two thousand three to March two thousand five. Hmm. The Evo six was March two thousand five to January two thousand seven. Yeah. So twenty two months. I didn't realize and the then Evo nine was being <laughs> cheap. And then the Evo ten, October two thousand seven to May two thousand sixteen. I wonder what the Impreza's timeline looks like. Probably quite I hard always to figure that out. I've always wondered why did Mitsubishi never update that car for nearly ten for for in the nine nearly nine years it I was in I think on it the was I mean they updated it, they bought all like, the FQ four hundred and all the rest of it, but I think it was more a case of they didn't really know what the fuck they were gonna do with it now. It was probably also a case they were they knew they were just losing money. True the record, I didn't know they were still producing Evo tens. Or not. Well, May 2016 was the last. Well, yeah, Evo's. I didn't know they were still producing them at that time. Oh, yeah, I, I think they were. It was like a two-year thing. I think they were producing. Then they F I think they were only producing the FQ 440 at that time, though. And even then, they didn't sell all of them. I think you could still buy like brand new ones for sale on Auto Trader for like 50 grand, because no one's paying 50 grand for a fucking Mitsubishi. Especially. No, if I'm, if I'm paying 50 grand for a Japanese car, I'd, buy, I'd rather pay 50 grand for an NSX. Like, Mitsubishi really is a dying brand. I mean... I think they're owned by someone, I can't remember who it is. In the Ford's Volkswagen, Kappa. Oh, I mean... Because they I mean, own Mits everything. I mean, Mitsubishi still makes the fucking iMeave. I mean, the Mirage what? exists. That's cheap enough. Yeah, the, the fucking IME is still a thing they make. And apparently they are, they do exist over here in the US and Canada, but I've never seen one. I've never even heard of one. I see the occasional one, although most people don't buy the Mitsubishi one, they buy the Peugeot one. <clears throat> well, Maniac. Do you, well, do you not know the, the, the whole meme with Rhino and the yeah, Mitsubishi I concept? Yeah, I get the eye. I know he doesn't like it, I don't know the origins no, of that. No, I was saying that the game was... Hey, I probably wasn't around when that happened, so explain. For basically, Rhino doesn't really like that car because he thinks it looks really ugly or something. I don't even know the whole story myself, to be honest. I mean, it really does look but ugly, but... That it does? I prefer it over a smart car. Hmm. So hey, it's got that going for it. Smart car is a f is a meme. <laughs> I'd rather drive a smart than a Corsa. I'm just looking at the things that Mitsubishi sells these days, which is not very much at all. It's the ASX. Well, that doesn't really I'm pretty sell. sure they do better in heating sales than actual car sales. Oh yeah, the Mitsubishi Mirage. That cur the current Mirage, AK, what the fuck is that car even supposed to be? I don't actually hate the modern Mirage, gotta be honest. I don't either. I just don't know what it's supposed to be I compared like to the older Mirages. Green. It's supposed to be a car with four wheels and an engine. I'm, I mean, they make the Mirage in pink. I'm assuming it was supposed to be like, uh, sort of like, shit, we need something to cover the Colt's ass for a bit, and then they sort of like, like, forgot that they had to get rid of it at some point, so they're just keeping it around. Or something like that, maybe. So yeah, there's, so there's that with the Mirage. Then the last... Oh, oh yeah, that's right. In certain areas in Europe, the car, the Mirage is called the Space Star. The Space Star? Yeah, because yeah, it's really the... roomy. <laughs> And the funny thing is, in 1998 to 2005, there was a completely different car called yep. the Space Star. Hideous thing, isn't it? And that it? was an M and it was an MPV. Yeah, look at it. Like it. It's hideous. It looks like that one car that Car Throttle bought not too long yeah, ago, it is. and then just tr trashed That's it. That's it. That's the Space Star. <sighs> that was a Mitsubishi Space Star. Anyways, I will be right back. I'm gonna go use the bathroom. <laughs> Gotta go make a brown. Yeah, car throttle killed it. Didn't they take Oops. it like off road or something? I guess. Pretty sure it. they did. Yeah, they killed it that way. 
Yeah. Anyways, it's the final rally event. Whoop whoop. That's the sound of the police. Whoop whoop. That's the sound of the beat. Whoop whoop. On the beat. Whoop whoop. Swoop the whoop. Elvis Presley. He's dead now. Has been for like. I was about to say, you've only just figured that out. <laughs> he has been for like nearly 40 years. Whip in Elvisos. Seven laps, seven laps. This goes on for Whoa! seven laps. Fucking hell. Fucking Christ. Seven laps. Off the shit. Fucking. Fuck me sideways. Wow! Wow! My toilet smells like a Starsky and Hutch. You would know what that smells like, apparently? Oh, you didn't know? Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> uh, this is it. Here I stand. Oh boy, Mitsubishi still makes a van in Japan called the Delica. Oh, yeah. It must be one of the few things Mitsubishi is still popular with. <laughs> makes me go, WHOA! Makes me go, SHIT! Remember Mitsubishi. <laughs> Jesus Christ, then they got like a- Then they got like a pickup that's called- Has like five different names, depending on where it is. The L200, the- Mitsubishi L200, Mitsubishi Hunter, Mitsubishi Sportero, Mitsubishi Strata, and Mitsubishi Triton. You're also forgetting some more names that that car needs adding to it. What? The Fiat Fremont. Oh. I'm talking about like ones that were listed as a Mitsubishi, mind you. Yeah. The L200 is also a Fiat now. It was apparently it was apparently sold in the US as a Dodge Ram D50 or Dodge Ram 50. Yep. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh god. What? Apparently in some areas it was called the Mitsubishi Mighty Max. Oh yeah. Oh. That is great. Someone's tried to make an L200 rat lock around here recently and it looks like garbage. Apparently one of the generations it was called the Mitsubishi Storm. Mitsubishi Magnum. Magnum. Dog. I'd be, I'd be like, I would've been, I would have been like, but Mitsubishi, didn't you know Dodge used to make a car called the Magnum? You copycats, even though the generation is from '96 to 2006. Although there wasn't a Dodge Magnum from the '70s, if I remember correctly. I think so. I think that was like the thing where it got its name from. Oh yeah, the the current the current one is called yeah. You're right, the Fiat Fullback. There you go, Fullback. I mean, it's in Fremont or Fullback. It's apparently sold in Canada as the Ram 1200. And not just Canada, the United Arab Emirates. UA? Best place. Yeah, I don't know what's apparently, quite going on for there, whatever. But, yeah, for whatever reason, Canada was apparently worthy of having a Ram 1200. Yeah, Mitsubishi, well, I say Mitsubishi, fits quite weird at the moment with their, like, like they've decided for some reason they're going to start making pickup trucks and vans, but just buy them off of people. Like, you can get rescue in England now by a Fiat ambulance. I think it is literally just like a Peugeot thing, but it's got a Fiat badge on it, so there you go. Oh, huh. So I have returned. Hi, back. Oh, wait, you didn't say oh. that. <laughs> so <laughs> no dad joke for you. It says the Ram 1200 would be in Canada, but I've just went on the Ram Truck Canada website. It doesn't even list it at all. Maybe because it's embarrassed on the. Although that being said, the Ram is a tr on a the Ram is honestly a truck that could use an update. I think the, tr the current generation has been like around for. Probably as long as the Ram Truck's name became its own separate thing. Mm. Oops. 
Well, they don't really date the RAM much anyway, do you know? just sort of give it a bigger chrome grill and that's sort of the end of it. Where the hell did, when the hell did, did they start selling this in Canada? The RAM 700, which is basically a Fiat Strata. What? Huh? It says it's, it says Mexico and Canada only. I've never seen a, a that, I've never seen that truck ever in Canada. Nor, nor again does it even mention about it on their website. Again, like, it's, it's the, like, fucking all, oh god, why? Pretty much all of the Fiat commercial vehicles are also sold in America as Rams, which is interesting. I do like how Ram over here has like, a, a, have like, like, like one of those vans where you can put a lot of stuff in it. Like, one of them is called the Pro Master City. Yep, that's a Fiat. And then there's the Ram Pro Master, just the big one. That's a Fiat. That's. Did you know that's a fit? And in fact, if you want to get even more funny, the uh, the Ram Pro Masters were um, seen as Sprinter vans before. I knew about the Sprinter. I didn't re know that the Pro Master City was basically a Fiat Doblo. Yep. It's a Fiat Doblo, which is a Citroen Nemo, which is a Citroen Nemo. Yep. Which is a Peugeot. Are you ready for this? No. Which is a yes, Peugeot maybe. Bipper. Oh, <laughs> what? Peugeot Bipper. Yeah, search Peugeot Bipper. Oh, it's a real oh, thing. Oh wait, no. The, the, the Ram Pro Master is basically a Fiat, du Fiat Ducato. Oh, that's the big one, yeah, but there, there is the Peugeot Bipper. In fact, if you want the yeah, last, would, the Fiat Ducato. Apparently Ducato. there's a van version of it. The Fiat Ducato. It's just a van. I was gonna say though, like something about that being the current Promaster being the Mercedes Benz Sprinter didn't make a lot of sense because when they when they first brought it over, they actually sold it as a Dodge, the Dodge Sprinter. Then Mercedes Benz were just like, hey, we're just gonna sell it as a Mercedes Benz, and they and they still sell it over here as a Mercedes Benz to this day. Yeah, the um, the Bipper. I mean, Peugeot has never had good van names. They had the Bipper. <laughs> they had the Boxer. Oh my god, apparently they had the, the partner. The, they had the partner TP. The, apparently the Sprinter was also once sold over here as a Freightliner. Nice. A Freightliner oh. Sprinter. May as well be a fucking Studebaker then. <laughs> Maybe that'll be Mitsubishi's next tactic. It's not a Mirage, it's a Studebaker. Apparently, in Russia only, they have the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Classic, which is basically the first gen. Yep. Sounds about right. Russia has a lot of those. Fucking hell, even the current Sprinter looks just like all of other every other Mercedes in the front. Yep. <laughs> they, have, they just have to keep the same flow going for every vehicle they Everything have. needs to look melted. <laughs> That's just the Mercedes way. Apparently so. Admit it, every single I... Mercedes, like, look at the new C-Class and everything, they all look like they've just been in the sun too long. It just looks like it's melting. I mean, they all look boring with the same look hey, over and Hey, they're not as boring again. as BMWs, which are all the same since the E46 now. I mean, they, they've gotten rounder over the years. Great, they still look like fucking fax machines. And they all have the same interior as an E46, literally. <laughs> Even the X series? Yeah. Anyways, Jaguar E Pace. That's a cool car, isn't it? <laughs> so there's a race going on. Yeah, what about some I mean, I mean is it, isn't this what we, what usually happens whenever we're doing one of these with a meal? We just get usually. distracted and talk about something else? Well, it's usually more interesting than what's going on. I mean, Part 63 had the most off-topic. The most off-topic. Again, that episode is just pure AIDS. Speaking of, speaking of Mercedes, which which one? Hmm? Oh, 63. Which part? Oh, the one we just did where I was, like, doing the promo. <laughs> oh, hey, good, it's though. a car. It's a car you might have already won before. Yeah, time to sell it. Because we don't really <laughs> need that one. Gotta get that extra money, even though you have like 10.3 million. This avoids clutter. Mhm. Mm anyway, sell that. 
And there we go. We are on 74% game status next time. We're not looking at rally events. Instead, we're kind of looking at the rally events, but we're not because it's time for special stage round fives in the wet. So join us for that. Thank you all very much for watching. Until next Here time. Here we Farewell. go. It's fun time.